Hello friends, uh, I'm Dr. Tamim. I'm here with Dr. Sumanth. Uh, he's recently cracked the DM Neurology exam. So let's hear from him how to prepare for DM Neurology. This is after MD Medicine. So please introduce yourself uh, about your background, which college you did. We'll start from there. Hello, sir. Uh, first of all, happy Teacher's Day to thank, you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you. It's my great privilege to be introduced by my one of the greatest teachers in my life uh, on this auspicious day, sir. So I thank you. Uh, thank you for being my mentor throughout, sir. Thank I need you. your support throughout, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So please tell about uh, which college, your uh, background like UG, PG. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I am Dr. Sumanth Balgandi. Uh, I am from Sirsi, Karnataka. I finished my MBBS and uh, MD, General Medicine, from Karnataka Institute of Medical Sciences, Hubli. Uh, later, I finished the uh, secondary DNB2 in the same year, last year, uh, December. So after that, like, uh, I had passion for uh, doing super speciality in uh, neurology, that too in NIMHANS. So uh, it's my uh, aim to get neurology seat in NIMHANS, sir. Okay. Immediately after my uh, MD exam, I wrote the NEET exam, but we were put to COVID duties at that time. I could not prepare well. Uh, within one month only, uh, we had NEET exam. Still, I uh, I had got the decent rank and uh, I could I could get the uh, good co very good colleges. But my passion was to do DM neurology in Niman, sir. So I did not opt for uh, that seat. So I waited for uh, Niman, sir. Okay. And uh, it's my pleasure that uh, I have secured first rank All India DM neurology in Niman in my first attempt, sir. Fantastic. So I'm sure uh, all those who are viewing this, uh, the main thing that they'll have is key, what they should do in MD medicine, how they should prepare for NIMHANS and uh, generally about your preparation as well as I think we should give them an idea about the paper, the quality of questions. So we'll start with uh, when you really started preparing for uh, entrance or was it after PG you started? Uh, no, sir. Uh, actually, like I had made my mind to pursue uh, a super speciality after joining my residency, uh, MD, General Medicine, but I had not decided which branch I have to pursue. So it was during my second year residency, uh, MD, uh, we had two months of uh, neurology postings in Nimhanser. That made me uh, like uh, in, to go in per, to pursue the uh, DM neurology as my uh, further goal. Passion. So yeah, passion. So it was after, but still I was in dilemma between uh, neurology and endocrinology. And I had asked you regarding this also when you had come to Kim Subli. And it was finally, uh, when I finished my MD uh, final year, then I decided that I should go for uh, DM neurology. It's my passion. So I uh, prepared for uh, neurology, sir. Uh, so this was uh, like journey I could get into DM neurology seat. Okay. So if somebody has to crack this exam and... Um, how they should prepare? What all What all is uh, needed to prepare for this exam? Sir, first of all, uh, we have to decide whether like a super speciality we want to pursue or uh, general medicine MD is enough because even uh, broad speciality medicine is also very good. And uh, I was very much interested. Uh, medicine was my dream branch uh, because of uh, teachers like you, which uh, motivated me to, uh, uh, to take general medicine after my MBBS. And uh, like... If we want to pursue a, a spe super speciality, first we have to decide at least two branches we have to uh, decrease it to in during at least in a second year of the MD, sir. Then uh, during the first year residence, what I want to say is uh, read Harrison and see as many cases as uh, possible. It is the practice and uh, practice and practice and seeing the patients and uh, presenting the cases is the most important thing. And during the second year and third year, uh, you can decide about uh, your super speciality branch and you can give more importance for that branch, but not at the cost of general medicine. Read Harrison very well. And that is the key to success, I, I feel. Great. So this exam, how many questions is it? And uh, how are the kind of questions? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, like I want to tell about NEET and NIMHAN, sir. Uh, these, these were the only two exams okay, I NEET wrote. super speciality and NIMHAN. NEET super speciality okay. and uh, NIMHAN uh, entrance. L last year, uh, September NEET, uh, it was 60-40 uh, uh, type of questions, sir. 60% uh, 
from the uh, super speciality course that is uh, for me it is it was neurology and 40 was from the feeder branches that is uh, both general medicine and pediatrics uh, i recently heard that the pattern of neat super speciality has been changed it is uh, it's just two two and a half months ahead of the uh, neat exam but uh, now it is completely 100 percent of the medicine of the of the broad specialty only they they are going to ask in the next uh, need so now those who are preparing next year for need super specialty yes, so they'll have to read only medicine or uh, say they want to do dm neuro they have to read only yes, neuro or only medicine it is it is completely medicine questions medicine. Uh, will be asked sir. okay so no special focus on the uh, super specialty but okay. all 100 per on all 100 150 questions that is all 100 percent will be from Medicine. Uh, feeder branches, medicine. medicine. Now, in this NEET, you have given uh, one NEET, uh, super specialty exam, now up till now or two? One. Only one. one. Immediately after my MD, I gave a NEET. That is this, uh, uh, yes. two uh, months back? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Uh, then uh, I cracked the Nimhans with the uh, first, first rank. Fantastic. In Nimhans, sir, it is like uh, uh, 60, uh, totally 100 uh, questions will be there. Uh, in that, uh, like 60, 40, almost 60 to 70 percent will be from uh, neurology, sir. And around 30 to 40 percent will be from uh, medicine. Okay. And what I want to highlight is uh, the questions in Nimhans are not uh, that much lengthy. They are, but uh, the basic concepts they ask, sir. like basic neurosciences are very important, like neuroanatomy, neurophysiology, neurochemistry, and neuropathology. Like they can give the slides of uh, some of like dermatomyositis or polymyositis, and they can ask questions based on that. And some of the case scenarios will be there and image based questions will be there. So, uh, if we want to prepare for NIM, uh, NIMHANS, so both reading uh, uh, neurology with uh, special focus on these topics and uh, general medicine uh, are uh, important. Okay. So, in this 100 questions, approximately how many images were there? Sir, images were so around uh, 6 to 7, sir. 6 to 7. Yes, and uh, any MRI images? Yes, sir. Uh, one MRI image was there okay. and uh, one even CT image was there. Okay. Yes, Any uh, EEG, EMG? Uh, sir, yes, sir. Uh, EEG, like for us, uh, one basic uh, EEG question they had asked. Uh, okay. So, totally around six to seven uh, questions will be there. Okay. Okay, so around six to seven images. Yes, sir. So, basically, did you do any special preparation for images for him, Hans? Uh, sir, like uh, uh, I had read Harrison uh, well. And uh, I had uh, uh, especially the neuro topics, not only from neurology per se, also the basic uh, that uh, basic topics in neurology and also neuro oncology, neuro infections part, uh, and uh, also the mainly neurosciences, neuroanatomy, neuropathology from Ra Robbins. Those are uh, very important. And some of the topics, no, it's not, it's very difficult to uh, read uh, the entire monogram, but some of the important uh, tables uh, from uh, Bradley uh, would be a good, uh, good decision to read. Okay. Okay. So, uh, when you were seeing questions like there are like, there are major uh, areas that we talk about in neurology are stroke, yes, then we have dementia, then we have uh, the muscular diseases, neuromuscular diseases, spinal cord disorders, peripheral neuropathy, autonomic diseases. Yes, sir. Um, in this, any particular area that Nimhans is focusing uh, on in questions? Sir, uh, what I feel is, sir, uh, in Nimhans entrance, they give more importance compared to other uh, entrance examination. Like they give more importance for lower motor neuron diseases. So okay. unlike the stroke, uh, epilepsy is bread and butter and they will uh, there will be uh, like uh, uh, many questions from uh, epilepsy and stroke. But uh, compared to other entrances, uh, compared to NEET and all, uh, so lower motor neuron uh, diseases will be given more importance. Okay, so like peripheral muscle, neuropathy, yeah, peripheral GPS. neuropathy and muscle, uh, muscular dystrophies, myopathies and motor neuron disease and EMG, NCS, those are also very important. Okay, fantastic. Um, so, to to go through once again, to summarize for our people, uh, yes, can you give an overview of the NEET exam also? NEET super speciality, how many images were there? Sir, in NEET uh, exam, around uh, uh, 10 questions were there, sir. 10 images were yes, there? Yes, sir. 10 image based questions. Okay. And any anything in particular students to need to do to prepare for NEET super speciality? Sir, uh, for NEET uh, preparation, the Harrison is the key, sir. Harrison, uh, because I could not get much time, but only thing is, like during our residency, how we give more importance for our, our studies and how we attend uh, our seminars in the uh, college, that also makes a difference. Uh, so, 
uh, what i want to uh, tell my juniors is like during the residency during the college attend as many classes as possible pre- present as many cases as possible and uh, read harrison thoroughly and uh, that is the main key to success sir great so i think uh, kim subli is quite a busy department in medicine yes sir so how are you uh, using your day like um, once you finish all the hospital work uh, once you go back to the hostel you were staying in the hostel yes sir i was staying hostel. in the so hostel so how many hours every day were you studying through the 3 years sir uh, in the first year residency it was very difficult to uh, study sir uh, almost first year i could not uh, like uh, read uh, harrison much uh, mm. but uh, whatever i did was like i used to attend the classes regularly uh, whenever seminars were there i used to sincerely attend the classes uh, and i used to make the notes uh, whenever the seminars were there i uh, i would revise those notes that helped me a lot and during the studying uh, harrison also uh, so i could read harrison fast because of uh, my uh, notes and my classes uh, at during the seminars sir okay so any particular uh, area like you started with volume 2 or volume 1 so uh, first i started with volume 1 only okay. so cardinal uh, features cardinal, cardinal manifestations are very important for all the uh, uh, disorders like cardinal manifestations is the most important okay, you read and the even, infectious even disease? yes sir, yes sir. even even disease. even for like uh, uh, like neuro part or any diseases it is cardinal manifestations very important very sir. important no did you read the hematology part the infectious disease part also uh, infectious part sir i could uh, like uh, most of the topics i had read like hiv uh, tb and uh, viral infections but some of the uh, like uh, infections like dengue is not uh, given that much uh, uh, in uh, harrison sir okay. so for that uh, i had to refer api books sir okay okay so basically harrison uh, you were able to successfully complete all through your pg course ha ah, yes sir you were able to finish yes, it and you were able to make notes and revise it no sir i could not uh, make, make notes, notes from harrison but i i i used to do hi- highlighting sir great okay so once you finished the neat super speciality how much time was there between that and uh, the name hands uh, sir actually i want to say one thing uh, my neat exam was there in uh, september i had applied for uh, uh, nimhans in the uh, december uh, exam so but uh, my marriage uh, dates clashed with the exam sir so okay. i could not uh, write the exam okay. so uh, anyway everything happens for a, a good sake so next uh, uh, in the next nimhans it will be 6 monthly so uh, it was my first attempt okay. so i got the first rank sir great great so huge congratulations to you <laughs> once again i think it's <laughs> remarkable you, to get first approximately how many students do you think attempted the exam uh, sir like uh, for uh, neat i think it was around uh, 2500 to 3000 okay uh, and i had got uh, rank 90 Okay. immediately after uh, my md okay that's good yes sir and uh, for nimhans exact number i don't know uh, maybe around uh, uh, lesser than neat but uh, maybe around uh, uh, 800 like, 1000 yeah 1000 around 1000 okay still the competition is very high and yes. most of them are very well read because yes. most of them are doing md medicine across the country they would have read well through yes. the 3 years of pg so i think it's um, congratulations are in order first rank is always something special it's something yes, special to cherish for the rest of your life yes, so you already are working in nimhans uh, and i know when you get to posted over there uh, in short postings it really uh, you know i have seen i have heard this being told many times like uh, i was posted in nimhans after that i realized ki i have to come here somehow so i think that uh, passion of yours and that uh, desire to work hard finally got you in the institute so now almost you've been there uh, a month yes sir it's been so month, how sir. do you find the cases over there and how do you find the work experience there definitely it's a premier institute sir uh, i had the passion of uh, entering the nimhans so like uh, even after the entering it is i feel very amazed to see different types of uh, varieties of uh, cases uh i really like the uh, the man sir yeah it's i think it's you are fortunate to be in in that institute yes sir so it's a I very think, hectic uh, hectic duties uh, but uh, the 3 years of uh, residency uh, hecticness is required, required. i think Uh, to so, take it to that level yes. that's the reason why it's and such an hope, important institute and hope hope my uh, like uh, the uh, blessings of you and the god uh, will uh, will make me get through all this successfully sir surely you will do much much you know beyond your expectations also that's our prayers Thank so you, i think it's really remarkable to listen to you
any final words because uh, somebody who is seeing this uh, they should benefit from this idea about a clear plan they should have about how to prepare so one very important take home message is ki you should read harrison in your pg uh, during your pg time and i think he was very sincere so he saw the cases he read harrison and he uh, highlighted whatever is important in harrison so i think that is a very important thing that you should do during post graduation other than that uh, for uh, thing uh, for preparation for um, the nimhans exam particularly dm neuro i want you when you told basic sciences are very important so any particular books that you would recommend for basic sciences that is the neuro neurochemistry the neuroanatomy uh, or sir, did you read our uh, sir def- definitely the notes of uh, during the pg entrance uh, examination uh-huh. they help a lot okay. because the entire medicine and uh, entire basic sciences they uh, help a lot for the uh, central institutes like nimhans sir so it is very difficult to go through all the monograms and all the books at the time of the exam mm-hmm. uh, so uh, what i used to do is like i used uh, i used to revise the uh, my notes during my pg entrance time those okay. helped me a lot so the pre md entrance yes, whatever notes you made don't throw it away don't definitely sir they are <laughs> keep it with you they are going to be very useful yes, again and so. one more thing i want to say that uh, many say that it is very difficult to like uh, crack the entrance uh, with a very good score while uh, uh, like uh, working uh, i uh, like we had one year compulsory bond sir immediately after the need and because of covid uh, we were put to peripheries like taluk hospital i was working in a taluk hospital in karnataka and uh, because of covid pandemic it was a very hectic duty and i was the only physician in the taluk hospital so uh, like what whatever it may be have courage if you are dedicated and if you have courage and uh, if you want to pursue definitely you can pursue and with the uh, blessings and with the hard work definitely all of you can achieve this uh, success and uh, so i want to like thank you sir uh, thanks uh, and in this auspicious day i want to thank all my teachers thank you very much sir. and uh, wish uh, wish all my juniors all the very best sir thank you thank you so much so huge congratulations to you let's hope you finish your uh, degree in nimhans and uh, go on to do very well in your future life also so best wishes thank you so much thank you sir thank you.